Six Scobie did not actually grow up in Yakima, but he spent quite a bit of time here after his parents moved to a mobile home outside of Natchez. He was involved in the Yakima airfare over the past couple of years and even promised to take an airfare flag and some passes with him on his next flight into space. Of course, that would have been today. New Center's Darren Watkins has more on Scobie and his background. 47-year-old Francis Dick Scobie graduated in 1957 from Auburn High School, where he led it in track and football. After he left school, Scobie joined the Air Force and became a pilot, serving in Vietnam, where he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. But his ambition was to fly into space. He once told reporters, when you can make your avocation your vocation, well, you're just lucky. Today, his voice aboard the Challenger was the last heard by Mission Control. Challenger, go and throttle up. In the days prior to today's launch, Scully met with reporters to discuss, among other things, the dangers of the flight and whether it was a good idea to put civilians on board, such as school pitcher Christine McCullough, who was also killed in today's tragedy. There ought to be some return on investment, and because it's not cheap to fly people in space, and it's not undangerous, it's, it's not, you know, it, it may look that way, but, and we do these flights repetitively, and we get kind of a, a commonplaceness to them that's really not there, because each one of them is an individual technological model in itself, and you lose that by watching so many of them. There are a lot of things that go on during space flight, and it's not easy to do, and, it's, and it may look easy from the outside, it's not easy from the inside. And so you ought to be sending people like this that are going to make a return on that investment, and there really is an investment in them. So there ought to be a return on that, and in this case there is. Scobie's parents were among those watching the launch this morning. They have lived in this mobile home on Pence Road near Natchez for the past few years. But in 1984, prior to their son's first flight, they talked about him and their concern for his safety. It's been fun, but yeah. it's been scary. I'm starting to have sleepless night thoughts. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with Mom while he's up there for his seven-day flight. <laughs> I did the same thing though when he had a year he was in Vietnam. I'm worried all the time. They also talked about how proud they were of him. The proudest part is when you're standing on the first and see how he was, the children especially, <laughs> and uh, people will gather around the astronauts or build their children up to... Uh, idolizing something or somebody and uh, it really looked good to us it makes the tears come to your eyes to see something like that okay. i'm darren watkins reporting for news center Allman and his wife joanne returned to yakima early this morning after spending the weekend at cape canaveral they had been invited down to the cape by scobie and his family